It's me, your girl, Summer Shine Mommy here, and wow, um, we have some catching up to do. So, as you guys can see, it is, see, look, it is 10.54 on Friday. We are in the second week, the sixth day, and they are nine days until winter. I have given um, both Arian and Ethan a makeover. They had a huge house fire in which everything, I'm talking about both the counters, I mean all three of the counters, the sink, the stove, the refrigerator, everything was legit on fire. And as you can see, here is, uh, what's his name? Yeah, this is Jean Avery. She met him, I'm not even sure what, Oh my gosh, I got a hiccup, excuse me. I'm not even sure where she met him, but she met him. And like I said, I've been following their wishes. So her wish was to just basically um, talk to this guy. So she um, invited him out. They, they were hitting it off, or so I thought. She got a wish to I kiss him to so that led to them going Your out on a date like i have pictures and i will put them up at the end of the episode like i did the last time so i have pictures and whatnot but what happened which i still don't understand is i invited him out um once they got on the date and everything they chilled at the i'm not sure where they were at at first but then they went to like the library or the community center oh, no, no 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 they went to the cafe there we go they went to the cafe and they were chilling and everything everything was perfectly fine all of a sudden she's cursing him out and accusing him of cheating and I'm like what cheating like does he actually have a girlfriend so what I'm going to do now is ask him if he's single because she's already clearly effectuated with him and he is her boss so it got really oh, tense oh, after um, well at a moment she felt really portrayed for two days and I guess it was showing during her work performance but she was working through it and he actually gave her a two dollar raise and I was like oh is this hush money is this to keep me calm money like no it's not going to work we oh, need to find oh, out now if he has oh, a girlfriend or not because oh, she God. was like really fed up and once she got over it she actually wanted to um another date with him so i invited him out on another date after we got over the betrayal the first time only to be stood up by him right see he has a partner. Really? Like, really? Like, really? This is ridiculous. This is why when we invited you out on a date, you said yeah, and then you turned around and you canceled on us. So, she wanted to have a great date with Gene, but I'm actually going to cancel that because he's not worth our time. Like, at all. And actually, what I want to do right now is grab some prizes because we're going to China. Okay? You're sleeping in somebody's crib. Yes, I am. They didn't feed you, did they? Nope. They did not. Mm -hmm. These are the woodies. They were. I was having some problems with the career. I mean, with the celebrities. Like, everybody was a celebrity, and even though they had the um, necessary amount of points to talk to the person, they was like, oh, you don't know the celebrity well enough. So I had them opt out of the celebrity business for now. Little baby. Um, this right here, if you do not remember, this is Danette Jordan, and she's also married but Ethan is a little infatuated with her he wanted to become really good friends with her and all of that so he 
got invited to a party and I basically just invited him well invited her to go out with him so that they could get to know each other and they're friends now so he got that wish you guys really didn't miss too much outside of like social stuff but we're only like our, we're at 18,000 points and I think that happened in the last few hours with the parties and dates and talking to people and stuff like that if you have noticed that um I've added some things to the house, mainly this thing, interstasis, um, yeah, he's pretty much done with the party, he can come here, and this came with the limited edition of Into the Future, I believe, I was looking for the game case, but I don't know where I put it, oh, right here. Yes, the limited edition, it came with the quantum power pack, and as you can see, she's been in there two seconds, come out, all of your things are met, so that's really what got us through um, the past couple days, because the game crashed, I could never keep the promotion, it was horrible, but I need her to keep grabbing prizes so we can have enough money to go to China tonight because I only want to go for a day or so so she can get a photograph of the dragon cave and he can get his three common relics and we can go so we'll probably only be there until Sunday but that will probably be the majority of this episode mm -hmm. so you can come at interstasis too his bed is legit always made her bed isn't it's crazy right um, yeah, I upgraded his bedroom a little bit more than hers because he made us the most money. He bought, he bought in this trampoline that he wanted and this, um, shuffleboard that he wanted. And I'm just like, dude, why? Everybody's having babies. Okay, um, baby girl, Suzette Halls and Rudy Burks. That's not her husband. Nakisha. Okay. I've just been randomizing all of the names. I don't even know why it's on prompt. But it's okay. <clears throat> but Suzette, do we know her? Because I know we know a Halls. Okay. Aurora. Because there's two different sets of Halls, and I'm not sure if they are related or not. This is who I thought he was going to end up with, but. They really didn't click that much. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you want to come in here and grab a toy as well. So after you try, and she sucks. Like, she sucks. She'll grab nothing, or she'll drop it every time. Or she'll get, like, these little stupid $2 toys. Or $50 toys. Just the bunny. Like, this is $2. And the book is $2. So, she's pretty useless. <laughs> <clears throat> at this point but gosh she is beautiful she is beautiful I'm gonna have him come grab a prize he usually grabs the money bags and that's how we've been living so far which is why I'm kind of excited for them to go over to China we can make some quick quick money while we're over there and let's see if they've got <laughs> sent something else look see $50 is his first contribution <laughs> okay, um, we're not done yet. We don't have enough money. I want to see if we got any more gifts from being famous because that's where they got that from. Only $45. I don't even know how much we need, but I'm pretty sure it's around like at least 1500 So I think they're both off for the weekend. Yeah, they're both off for the weekend, which is perfect. So, what else is going on in the town right now? Okay, he had a writing level of one. Cheryl Romano just handed me the money. Totally out of the blue. Comment to Amy Woody. Something about taking the $51 so I would shut up or something. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But I'm certainly not giving back the cash. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that situation is about. But, I do want to figure out how many different households are there with the same name?
because I'm seeing that a lot. Okay, that's all I wanted to check so that when I save and go to... Okay, that's all I wanted to check um, because I'm going to have to rename a few of them. That happens when I do rapid progression sometimes. They'll just have the same last name, which is why I think I told them to prompt me about last names and stuff like that. But, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. I'll just change them accordingly. So, you got this spear, which is only $50. I thought you had got something else. And I don't think there's anything you can do out here that gets us money. Mom, well, it's Saturday. We're only going for one day at this point. Well, two days, technically. I think that's the shortest amount of time that you can go. What is it? Oh, okay. We got our gems. Perfect. Oh, yeah. What? $36? I was too excited about absolutely nothing. Really quickly. Yeah, I'm not going to eat this corn dog in you guys' ears. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, for both of them, it's $2,300 for three days. And I can't go any shorter God amount love. of time God love. than that, which is cool. So, I'm going to grab a few prizes. Yeah, you text her. Oh, yay. Now we have SimFinder app. That was a cool, perfect raccoon. See, look at this. And you're hot, and you're hot, and you're hot, and I'm hot. Let's just get together and share my company. The gigolo, Jean Avery, has been out taking care of business. See, do you see what I was telling you? Like, he's no good for her. He is the freaking town gigolo. Like, for, oh, this is house? Oh, he hasn't been in part. The apartment. I don't think I can literally see into this house unless I open it up. But is she in there? If she's in there, I would totally, totally make her pick. And she's a zombie. Like, a zombie. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that guy. He is just awful. Awful, like, awful. Let's do a silly face. Let's shock a bra. I like to do all the things that I know is quick. High five. Ask her if she is single, which I think we already know the answer to. And ask her smile, which I also believe we already know the answer to. Oh, no, we know none of that. Okay, so, um, ah. and let's see what he has. You stay away from my dumpster, you raccoon. Uh, 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 oh. Stay away. <laughs> oh, can I make the raccoon pregnant? Yeah, yeah, if he would have got a... Got a raccoon pregnant, that would have been really good. However, what I will do, there is nothing near them, like immediately near them, that gives me. There's a trick in here? Hmm. That gives me what I'm actually looking for. I guess the closest is over here. Yeah, I'm looking for a dumpster. That should become a dumpster die. We have to get this money. I'm going to send her over here. And she is going to go dumpster diving. Indeed. She is going to dumpster dive until we have enough money to get what we're trying to get. Come and dumpster dive. Twice. Are you you seriously don't live that close to oh okay. I'm about to say to walk over here. Alright, so he's going to the bathroom. Um, 
I haven't showed you guys much. I haven't done much to the rooms, but here is their. So she has this one. This is the one they took. That was the first outfit they were in. This is her degree from high school. This is the date that they went on. And when you see the pictures of the date that they went on, you would have just been like, oh my God, they're perfect for each other. They were almost dressed alike. The chemistry was so fluid. It was just amazing. And then he screwed it all up by being engaged. And, like, what? Like, seriously? And this is his, uh, where is it? This is going to be the girl that we don't know. This is his fiance, Kenya Shelley. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Whatever. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. That way, editing it will not be a total nightmare and i'll get this one up and while this one is going up i will be recording episode three i am excited about this the story is already coming together so and it's only the second week like come on come on we are in for it you guys we are in for it but um i hope you really like this episode great comment subscribe thumbs up thumbs down um i appreciate you all for watching and i love that you guys are telling me that you're interested and you're excited and things like that because that's what motivates me to record and to sit here and do everything that I have to do to get this content out to you guys but I'm so happy so happy so I will talk to you all later um as I say and I always 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 will happy swimming and happy day